In this next video, we're looking at counting text values in Microsoft Excel. So if we take a certain amount of data we've got in this particular spreadsheet here, we can see quantity, products, etc. Now you may know about the count function. If I type into here equals count, open brackets, highlight the range, close brackets and enter, we get a value of 18. Count isn't adding the data together, it's not giving me a total sum, we're just counting cells that have values in. Now there are zero values in this data range, it will include that because zero is still a number. So that may not be a true reflection of what you're looking for. If I deleted a zero, it goes to 17. Let's put that back. But likewise, if I delete any of the numbers, it drops to 17. Control Z just to undo. So that's fine if that's what you're trying to do here. I'm going to go ahead and delete the zeros to get a true reflection of what we need. Now if I take that formula and drag it across for order status, it seems to be giving me a zero because the count function only works with numbers. We're trying to check for a order status of on order here, the rest of the cells are empty. So really we want an answer of three. All we need to do is simply edit that formula. There's a slight variation on this function called count a, so I'm going to put an a in there. The help comes up and tells me briefly that it will count the number of cells in a range. They're not empty but it doesn't really confirm the fact it's actually inclusive of text we press enter then we do get an answer of three here so I think the A dates back to A for alpha or alphanumeric which is text and numbers from earlier versions of Excel so that's quite handy now we get an answer we, we wanted of three in here so we can count up any columns we wanted to let's look at product name just pop in the count a function range close brackets and we get the value we need but if it's purely numbers you can just use count but we do have count a